What's up everybody and welcome back to Car Performance. Today we are checking out and installing the Nokens LED Luxury Place Lamp Kit for Club Car Precedent. So here we have laid out, we've opened up the box and we laid everything out. Uh, I have the assortment of tools to go ahead and install this. We have in our instruction booklet here. We have our wiring harness, tail lights, 48 to 12 volt converter, horn, brake switch, USB charger, horn accessories, cable straps, turn signal control box. Here's the turn signal control box itself. Let's get this bad boy into the cart. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test this wiring harness to make sure everything works first. So let's jump right into that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo our harness. These are gonna be our tail lights. Next, we're gonna plug in the turn signal indicator. This is gonna be to our headlight. Here's our voltage reducer. For this test, we are not going to use the voltage reducer because we're just gonna test the harness itself. So right here, we're going to plug the red and black wire with the fuse that looks like this into this connector. And for simplicity here, we are just going to use our drill battery to test out this black to negative here, like this. We're gonna take our red to positive, go here. Now we're gonna test to see that the light kit works. Looks like we got lights, lights, one turn signal, one turn signal. Great, hazards work. Looks like we're ready to start the install. First thing we're gonna do is make sure that the key is off. We're in the off position. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this into tow. Now that we've done that, next we're gonna take our T40 and we're gonna remove these screws right here on the floor. We have two on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. Now that we've done that, we're gonna start by removing our floor mat. You pull up on the cup holders a little bit right here. Pull your floor mat down. Slide it over your pedals. And if your mat gets stuck like this, there you go. Pull it out. Set this to the side. Next, we're gonna loosen these up. Take this one out completely. It's in the rear body screw. You could remove it all the way as well. Pass your side. Next, we're gonna take this off. We got three screws here. This one's missing the cap right here, but if there's a cap here, you take a small screwdriver and pop the cap out, and this black piece will come loose. So now that we've taken our screws out of here, we've taken our body screws out, we're gonna lift up on the body pull this black piece out. Okay, we take this and set it to the side. Next, we will remove our dash. Now that we have everything loose, last thing to do is pop this inspection cover. Now that we have everything loose, we're ready to install our wiring harness. Now we have our wiring harness, we're gonna install it in the car. Take this, and we're gonna fish it through to here. This is going to take the two small wires, yellow and red, and put them down here for right now. The rest of the harness, we're gonna put down in this little channel right here and run it up with the harness to the cart. Now that we got the front half of the harness in the cart, we now need to run our tail lights. Quick installation note here is red, is passenger side, white is driver side. To cut this hole out, I just like to use a step bit. Very easy to do. You could use the tool provided in the kit if you don't have one. And here we measure, and I just rub the tail light on the body and make a mark, like so. Right here is where I need to drill. Test fit looks good. Now I'm gonna pull my wire. If you don't have a snake, I just use this extendable magnet right in here with it. Like so. I just cheated with the zip tie. A little hack here. You can pull this wire any way, but this is just an easy way that I find to pull the wire back. <laughs> now I like to clip the tail light to here so you don't lose this wire. And the other side, we perform the same thing. And if you're not comfortable, with rubbing the tail light and putting a mark on your body and drilling it, you can always refer to this here with the measurements and mark your hole. Next, we're going to test the converter and make sure that it's getting the output. 
we need to take the red and black and connect it to the red and black. And then we need to take the red connection and connect it to our main battery connection. But this one's corroded, so we're gonna clean it off when we got that terminal off. And then we need to take our negative and go to our main negative connection, which is over here. So we're gonna do that real quick. Now that we've cleaned our corrosion and we kept our, we have now connected our positive wire to our voltage reducer. We're gonna check voltage to make sure that the reducer is putting out proper voltage. Black is negative, yellow is positive. See right now it only has 7.4 volts, but I do not have this jumper connected. This needs to go to a positive battery source. So since we have a 412 volts in here, our positive 12 volt connection is gonna be right here. So we're gonna clip this here. Now it confirms that we have 11.9 volts. Now that I've confirmed that I have voltage, I'm going to disconnect the jumper. And at this time, I'm gonna mount my voltage reducer right here on the wall using the four screws provided in the kit. Okay, now we're gonna take our connection off of our harness. And we're gonna plug this into here. So the small wire, which is yellow and green to yellow and green. And this is going to go here. Now we have the front headlight harness. We're going to take the front headlight with this pin and we're going to put it right through this hole. We're also going to take the black and purple wires and we're going to push it through the same hole up there. We will now connect our harness. Now we're going to install our turn signal and light harness. We'll be using the supplied hardware. leave this loose for right now until you want to adjust the height but we're gonna go ahead and connect this up next we're gonna install our accessory key control line we're gonna use a voltmeter so we're gonna take our negative lead here we're gonna to touch it to our main negative on the battery terminal we will have to turn the run toe switch on at this time to get power to the key switch and now with our red lead we're gonna test so we have no voltage on the blue line we touch the green line you see we have 46 volts so we're going to turn the key on our 46 volts turn the key off so blue is going to be our key switch power we're going to turn the run toe switch back off grab our accessory key control splice open it up like this it's got a little tab there we open this up run it on the wire like that grab our pliers and squeeze until this locks you got a good solid connection and now we connect the yellow and green wire to this and that is how you connect the key accessory wire now with the tool provided in the kit the 30 millimeter we're going to go ahead and set our usb and set it right here in the dash and you have the option to run this plate if you'd like to install our Install our USB. It is labeled negative and positive. And we have power. These two extra leads right here are for future accessories or any other accessories you have. This is 12 volt power. You can use these for other accessories. Now that we know everything works in here, we're gonna push everything tight into our dash. Next, we're gonna install our brake switch. And while we're in here, we're gonna give this car a little brake adjustment. And for you who don't know, this is where you can adjust your brakes. So we're gonna spin this towards me to tighten it up a little bit. Because we did notice the brakes are a little weak on this car. So we want to do this before we set our brake light switch anyways. Right there feels about good. You know that we'll try. Perfect. You should have a little play. The cable shouldn't be pulled real tight. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to take this. 
We're gonna lock it on here. Two wrenches. Now with the other part of the spring. Install it like that. And now I'm going to install my connections. They can only go one way. And I'm going to test my connections. And I can see my tail lights. So now I'm going to take my screws out. Tuck our wire nice and neatly in here. Now we're done in here. We're going to secure our floor plate. And so we, we're going to tuck our wire nice and neatly. And now we're ready to reinstall. We can refasten our body. And at this time, we're going to refasten our floor. Now is a good time to take your horn. Before you install your headlight, find a place to mount and install your horn. We opted to keep things real simple. We're just gonna run a self tap right here. We opted just to run a self tap right here. Horn's nice enough out of the way. Nice movement for wires. Now we'll proceed to install our headlight. Now we have our headlight. I like to run the wire up here. Take our headlight, install our connection. Now we've measured and installed our cover and covered our wire. Last thing we got left to do install the tail lights. Tail lights do have adhesive. Very light amount of pressure or you will crack this. Now that the tail light installation is complete, we'll go back up here and check our connections. Make sure everything's tight. We tie wrapped our wires up to make this nice and clean. We'll flip our run toe switch, turn our dash on, and we have power. Key on and off, make sure my converter goes off and my key goes off, which it did. Key's back on, converter on, powder everything, installation complete. If you have any further questions or need further support, you can contact them at this email address or reach out to them with their technical support phone number.